This movie was fun. It was fun. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Just My Opinion for my movie review for The Tomorrow War. If this is your first time finding me and you happen to like the video, please give me that thumbs up and consider subscribing. So when I first saw the trailer for The Tomorrow War, it looked fascinating. I said to myself, wow, action, adventure, alien invasion. And then you have Chris Pratt at the lead of this film signing me up. It looks like I'm going to have a great time with this Amazon Prime debut. Now, this is being directed by Mr. Chris McKay. If you are familiar with his work, he did the Lego Batman movie one and two, which those films were pretty good. I did enjoy those. And Chris Pratt was a part of those films as well. So it looks like these two have another team up on their hands within this film. But before I go any further, let me tell you exactly what this is all about. The world is stunned when a group of time travelers arrive from the year 2051 to deliver an urgent message. 30 years in the future, mankind is losing a global war against a deadly alien species. The only hope for survival is for the soldiers and civilians from the present to be transported to the future and join the fight. Among those recruited is high school teacher and family man Dan Forster, played by Chris Pratt, determined to save the world for his young daughter. Dan teams up with the brilliant scientist Yvonne Strahovski and exchange father J.K. Simmons in a desperate quest to rewrite the fate of the planet. So let's just start right there. A group of time travelers arrive from the year 2051. I mean, that concept right there, in my opinion, is just fascinating. And the way it was executed in this film, I thought was perfect. Just imagine yourself sitting on your couch at home, watching a football game on TV, and some futuristic beings teleport there on the field out of nowhere, while all of these weapons and gear with helmets talking about, hey, we need you to join the fight or everybody's going to die. That right there already got me engaged. And then before that, you have the family man, Dan, Chris Pratt's character, just doing his thing. And he's a great lead. I mean, as soon as he gets on the screen, you fall in love with his character. You cannot help but to root for this man in every which way situation. And then you throw this plot into the mix. You're like, wow. I'm on board with this. And guys, I'll just go ahead and say I really did enjoy this film. I had a lot of fun. That does not mean that it does not have its problems because it does. And I will address that. But overall, this was a fun ride that I would not mind revisiting again and again and again or just playing it when I have company or doing some type of kickback or something like that. I had so much fun with this movie, even with all of its, its, its mishaps, that I could easily watch this one, two, or three times a year and still get a lot of enjoyment out of it. One, because of the plot that I just read to you, and also because of the involvement of Chris Pratt's character, Dan. But he's not the only great character in this movie. Many of the supporting cast is great as well. You also have J.K. Simmons, who plays his strange father and then another actor by the name of Charlie and let me find out his his real name for you is quite he was also in that film uh where the world was within Sam Richardson these two gentlemen JK Simmons and Richard uh, Sam Richardson are great additions to the cast JK Simmons a more serious role who just kind of he's there to fill in the backstory of Dan Chris Pratt's character and also just be around if you want to blow things up and also Sam Richardson's character Charlie he is the comic relief of this character. I mean, of this film, excuse me. Now, I will go ahead and say initially I was a bit rubbed the wrong way because I was saying to myself, why are you introducing us to all these great characters in the beginning of the film? But then you just drop them off and they're nowhere to be found. I was a little bit worried about that, but I like how this film wrapped up. And by the end of it, they do come back around and give the ending that much more substance and make it that much more significant. This also has a lot of action and adventure elements in it as well. I, there were so many bullets and explosions going off in this movie. I thought it was a Michael Bay production. If you don't know who he is, he did the Transformers movies. I mean, it is a ton of action. If all alone, if you just want to go in here and see the action and a bunch of butt kicking, this movie is for you. I also really like the design of the aliens in this film 
kind of something that I've never seen before, but of course I haven't seen every movie, but I really have to give it over to the marketing department or at least what I paid attention to because it takes quite a while for them to reveal exactly what the aliens look like. And once they're revealed in the film, you know, you later on, you get a good sense of what they look like and how they can move on around their strengths, weaknesses and abilities and all that good stuff. But for quite some time, our heroes in this film did not know which type of enemy they was facing. And and that just makes the overall experience just that much more suspenseful and just kick ass when everything is finally revealed. Now, I always talk about how I love a great score in my movies, and this film is not short of that as well. It's a great score in this film, even to the point where it's exhausting. Every other scene, every moment or sentence of dialogue, they turn the score music up in the background to try to complement the film or the scene. And for the most part, they do a good job, but I wish they would have just dialed it back just a little bit because like I said, it is exhausting. I kind of felt to myself like, they're only doing this to try to drown out the rest of the failed production. But it's kind of hard for me to say that because I still can't really pinpoint exactly what I would want to complain about or what they're just trying to cover up. I don't know. It's just for some reason, every other line of dialogue, they wanted to inspire you with the music. And it was great music. It sounded great, but it was just a little bit too much on the nose, you know, in my face. Also, the acting was quite well in this film as well. You know, I thought that it would be bad, but you have great leads in this film with Sam Richardson, J.K. Simmons and Chris Pratt. You also, I mean, the filmography is quite nice. The cast here, you know, everybody does a great job. I can't just sit there and say that, you know, oh, the acting was poor from this performance, from this actor, this actress right here. You know, it just was quite great. My only kind of complaint is it comes from the budget. I don't know the budget of this film, but you can kind of tell with some of the action scenes that it kind of suffered there of them using like green or blue screen in the background. You can just kind of tell that it wasn't fake. And that's just interesting to me because in other parts, the CGI, the graphics, all that good stuff came through quite strong, especially when it has to do with the aliens. Now, when it comes to do with the time travel essence and the technology, that's where it leaves a giant question over my head there are a ton of exposition dumps in this film to try to explain how that works and when they try to explain the time travel it, they just throw so much at you at one time it's just too much to consume at one point to where i was just watching this and i said to myself you know what i don't care if that makes sense or not if you explain if that's the way it works it's the way it works i mean i tried to play with it in my head like okay if you do this and then they go back this time how did this work i was just like okay whatever that's the plot let's just go with it you know and like th there are a ton of heroic cheese ball moments in this film where characters are just sacrificing themselves for the greater good but it's not cringy i mean the film is self-aware the director the producers and even the actors in this role i mean they are truly committed to accomplishing this and what i'm saying to myself wow this is really just over the top you know, with them jumping in front of barrage of bullets and explosions and just going out, guns blazing. Ah! I just said to myself and just smile like, wow, this is silly, but man, it is still just so much fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun with this movie, guys. Now, it does come in at around two hours and 20 minutes, and that may be long for a number of people. And I will be honest with you. Sometimes you can have a film with that amount of runtime. And you said to myself, wow, it, it, flew, it flew through. No, this movie feels long. It does feel like i mean i was watching like a, a good portion of it and then i had to press pause to go to the bathroom and i was like damn only 30 minutes has passed by i watched another 20 minutes i'm like damn only 20 minutes has passed by i thought the movie was gonna end you know i don't know if it's just my attention span is decreasing or something like that but it, it does feel long you know and other than you know some plots not really adding up here and there or making total sense and some bad CGI in places. I, guys, other than that, I really can't complain about this film. I really did enjoy it. 
And if you just want to see some action adventure with some decent acting from a good stellar cast, I mean, sign up. I mean, I had fun with it, like I said, three or four times, and I really wouldn't mind visiting this film over and over again a number of times. And so, guys, that is just my opinion, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked the video, please give me that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if I had to rate the Tomorrow War out of a 1 out of 10, I'll give this film a 7 out of 10. Yes, a 7 out of 10. But, guys, again, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.